Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel! This is Mom Saibel Explains. This video is all about rounding off decimals. We have a problem here. Mom Lauron wants to buy an electric fan that will only cost her about 800 pesos, which price is about 800 pesos when rounded to the nearest peso. Is it A, 799 pesos and 25 centavos? B, 799 pesos and 45 centavos? C, 799 pesos and 55 centavos? And D, 798 pesos and 75 centavos? Rounding off decimals is similar to rounding off whole numbers. It helps us give an approximate answer when exact answers are not needed. Let's study this number line. We have here 800 and in here 799. We need to locate all these choices in this number line. We already placed the choices in the number line. Which of these choices is the nearest to 800? So it's obviously we can see the answer but of course we have some rules to follow in rounding off decimals. We have here the rules in rounding off decimals. The first one is, look at the digit to the right of the digit that is to be rounded off. Second, if the digit is more than or equal to 5, add 1 to the digit that is to be rounded off and ignore the rest of the digits after it. And the third one, if the digit is less than 5, maintain the digit that is to be rounded off and ignore the rest of the digits after it. We'll apply now the rules that we have learned in rounding off decimals. For letter A, that's 9. For letter B, that's 9. For letter C, that's 9. And letter D, that's 8. We have to remember that we will round off to the nearest peso. This time, let's identify the numbers to the right of the numbers to be rounded off. For letter A, we have 2. For letter B, that's 4. For letter C, that's 5. And letter D, that's 7. We have to take note that if the numbers to the right of the numbers to be rounded off is 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4, we will round down. What do we mean by round down? It means we have to maintain the digits to be rounded off and ignore the rest of the digits after it. Now, let's take a look at letter A. For letter A, we have 2 of the right of the number to be rounded off, so it means we will round down. We will just maintain the digits and then ignore the rest of the digits after it. So, our answer in letter A is 799. How about in letter B? Are we also going to round down? Yes, because the digit is in the right of the underlying digit is 4. So, we will just maintain the digit. Our answer will be 799. How about in letter C? Are we also going to round down? I don't think so because if the numbers or the digits to the right of the underlying digit is 5 and above, we will round up. These digits are 5, 6, 7, and 9. That's a sure thing that we will round up. Let's take a look at letter C. We have 5 to the right of 9. It means we will add 1 to 9. That makes... 800 as our answer and now for letter D we have 7 at the right of 8 it means we will add 1 to 8 that will make 798 plus 1 we will get 799 I think we have an answer since mom Lauron is looking for an electric fan that will cost her about 800 pesos then our final answer is letter C. And that's it. Let us have some exercises. Let's round off 31 and 3,456 ten thousands to the nearest tens and hundreds. Now let's start. What number is in the tens place? That's 3. What is the number to the right of 3? That's 4. It is less than 5. It means we will round down. We will maintain 3 and ignore the rest of the digits after it. That makes our answer 31 and 3 tenths. For the nearest hundreds, what number is in the hundreds place? That's 4. 
what number is in the right of the 4 that's 5 remember that if it is 5 and above we will add 1 to 4 that will make our answer 31 and 35 hundredths we have the next one let's round off 8 and 9,973 ten thousands to the nearest tens and hundreds. For the nearest tens, what number is in the tens place? That's 9. What number is in the right of 9? That's still 9. If the number is 5 and above, we will add 1 to the underlying digit. That's 9 plus 1 is equal to 10. Write 0 here, carry 1 at the top of 8. 1 plus 8 is equal to 9. Then copy the decimal point. Our answer is 9.0 or just simply write 9. For the hundreds place, what number is in the hundreds place? That's 9. What number is in the right of 9? That's 7. If it is 5 and above, we will round up. It means we will add 1 to the underlying digit. That's 1. 1 plus 9 is equal to 10. Write 0 here. Carry 1 at the top of 9. 1 plus 9 is equal to 10. Write 0 here and carry 1 at the top of 8. 8 plus 1 is equal to 9. Then copy decimal point. Instead of writing 9.00, we can just simply write 9 because they are just equal. Let's have another one. We have here 98,718 hundred thousands. Let's round it off to the nearest thousands and ten thousands. For the nearest thousands, may I know what number is in the thousands place? That's 7. What number is in the right of the 7? That's 1. If the number is less than 5, we will round down. So, our answer is 0 decimal point 987 or 987 thousands. Now, for the nearest 10 thousands, what number is in the 10 thousands place? That's 1. What number is in the right of our underlying digit? That's 8. If it is 5 and above, we will round up. It means we'll add 1 to 1. That will give us 1 plus 1 is equal to 2, 7, 8, 9, 0, and decimal point. That will give us 0. Decimal point nine eight seven two or nine thousand eight hundred seventy two ten thousands, and we're done. Don't forget to hit the like button if you think this is helpful. Till next time.